Still, you know, where's a phone stand when you need one? Let me see. Do do do. Greetings, family. Greetings. All right, I'm not going to be on here long. I'm just going to wait for this thing to populate for a second. I'm definitely not going to be on here long. Right, greetings to everyone. Divine name is Supreme Being. I want to greet everyone. Peace. All the people that's coming on, really appreciate that. Um, this is definitely an impromptu kind of uh, video I'm doing. Of course, y'all can see I'm at the airport trying to find a quiet place. Try to find a quiet place to do this. Um, as y'all know, the airport there is no quiet place. So, uh, I'm going to wait. Bro, you need a wheelchair, bro. I'm going to wait for this thing to populate and then I'm waiting for the thing to populate, and then hopefully, I got my glasses on today, so hopefully I'll be able to entertain some of those those comments that I'm seeing so far. Y'all jumping a gun, man. I'm not even started yet. <laughs> All right, so this is only part one, and I'm only going to be a few minutes because I got a flight to catch in a minute. Uh, Yeah, hold on for a second. Y'all killing me because the flight is at... You only got a few minutes, and it's boarding in a few minutes. So just real quick, this is this is part one. So tonight I'm gonna to do part two, which is gonna be more in depth. And then tomorrow I'm going to be on Brother Richard's show. And hopefully we can kind of sum it up. But I just came on here today um, just to kind of clear the air with what's going on with Bernie Sanders and Public Enemy. There's supposed to be a rally today. Uh, I'm at the airport, I'm headed to uh, Columbia, Missouri. Um, finishing out the Black History 101 Mobile Museum tour. Um, um, just, just um, let people know, just straight up from the rip. For the people that already know me, y'all know I wasn't a part of that mess. All right, so just, so even, even if you were, I don't know why the hell you were thinking that. You need to get up on off the head and if you actually thought that. As long as uh, some of y'all claiming that y'all have been following what I do, the moves that I make, following my work and you subscribe to the channel and all this kind of stuff, and then you have the nerve to question whether or not if I'm with this fiasco that's going down in LA today, absolutely not. No, I'm gonna say that for about 51 more times. Absolutely not. And I think that I'm in a good position to speak for the vast majority of the brothers in Public Enemy. All right, hold on for a second. Let me speak to this good brother. I know he's gonna come over. That's good. He got headphones on. He don't see me. Hey, yo, he got his he got his beats on. <laughs> what's, what's going? Hold on, man. What's going on, bro? Yo, wait a second. I was talking. I was just telling about people. Talking about you, he got his beats on. I was just talking. Yo, that's your way. I'm just 
I called Keith. Yeah, right here. I was at the studio. Okay. And I told Keith when y'all was getting inducted and stuff. Uh, I was like, let him know. I ain't forget about okay, it. Let's I got you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's all love. You know that, bro. I'm on uh, Missouri, man. I got two weeks at the uh, a couple of schools out there finishing out Black History Month. That's my number. Call me, man. All right. Uh, hit me y'all, up. Y'all, uh, everybody good? Everybody, well, good? I don't know if everybody good. That's what I'm addressing right now because they're doing this rally in L.A. with Bernie Sanders. And, you know, I don't do the political stuff like that. And I'm not, right. I don't give my allegiance to none of the Republican right. Party or the Democrat Party. Neither right, one of them. Right, 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 right. But your man's out there. So, yeah, you might want to take that up with him. Who's Chuck. Chuck. <laughs> well, I see the expression on your face. All right. <laughs> we'll talk good, bro. I just want to make sure you're right. all right. I'm, I'm good. I'm good, bro. You've you been out with the family at all? Ah, not at all, man. Uh-uh. That's crazy. Now, as a matter of fact, we haven't done a show since we did the other uh, thing at yep. the African American yep. Museum in yep. D.C. That's been, what, like, two, three years. That's crazy. Yeah, so anyway, love, man. Yes, sir. We'll talk good, bro. Got you. Son. Got you. All right. That's the kind of stuff I'm getting everywhere I go, man. But anyway, let me just finish saying this before I get on this flight, before I do part two later on. Uh, this is Professor Griff, and I, and I can speak for the rest of the crew. When I say the rest of the crew, I hope they don't mind me saying this. I can speak for Flavor. I can speak for Terminator. I can speak for Pop, James, Brother Mike, Drew. I can speak for uh, KG. I can speak for those of us that have brought public enemy to this point. Now, I'm just saying to you in a nutshell, I'm, I'm seeing it right here, man. I'm going through the whole, you know, the people, when the people speak, what else do I have to say, man? You know, this was posted up. I guess he, Chuck is doing this from the convention center where they about to perform. Keep in mind, it's public enemy is not performing. That's public enemy radio. That's some something that Chuck put together, I guess, I don't know. That's just something Chuck put together. That is not public enemy. Flavor Flav will not be there. I definitely won't be there as I, you know, as I as I said. Uh, I'm just not, I'm just not doing it, man. It's just one of those kind of situations where it's almost like we build this thing, all right? We anti-government, we pro-people, pro-human family. We build public enemy. We're enemy to the public. Um, we speak in truth to power. We put this dynamic thing together to be the voice of the voiceless and speak for the people. And then here you are, dude, Bernie Sanders. There's a whole lot I'm going to say about that a little bit later on, man. You understand what I'm saying? But the people are speaking, man. It says make sure everybody and your boat is rowing and not drilling holes when you're not looking. Know your circles. I don't know. I don't know what that's supposed to mean, Chuck. I don't. But I'm going to save it because I'm going to analyze it because I just want to know what you're talking about. You understand what I'm saying? Um, so I'm just looking at, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm just looking at these comments, man. And I'm going to read some, but I got to get to my flight. But it's like, um, Chuck D said, it's no longer tolerable to just pontificate. Now, please, if you don't know what the word pontificate mean, go look it up. And um, pontificate and not do shit. Okay, we're going to underline that because I'm going to deal with that later on. People got to realize whoever they vote for isn't going to be Jesus. I got two problems with that. The idea of voting and this whole Jesus thing, dude. So where your head at? All right. It says, um... They should recognize we have a wannabe Hitler in the White House. Wow. Before I say anything, here's the comments. And yet Mr. Chuck D endorses someone who admires and idolizes a communist regime. So disappointed that you are unable to see what, what a setback uh, that would be to all minorities. All right, these are the people speaking. This is not me. All right. My argument is not really with Bernie Sanders. It's really about economic socialism. Okay, well, then you still got a problem with Bernie Sanders because that's Bernie Sanders' platform. So stop trying to dance around the subject, man. Um, hold up. 
amazing to see people attack a man that walked with MLK, who literally has been fighting for civil rights almost 50 years. Uh, I'm with you, Chuck. Always have been and will be there and will be there tomorrow. You see, you're going to find some people like this that will ride for Chuck just because they want to ride for Chuck. They don't want to deal with the facts. Uh, just because you walked with Dr. Martin Luther King, that don't mean a goddamn thing. There's a lot of people that walk with Dr. Martin Luther King that wasn't with Dr. Martin Luther King. As a matter of fact, you can do go online and you can look up a um, they took a poll of how, how popular Dr. King was right before Dr. King was assassinated. Dr. King, they was giving the thumbs down to. So where are all those people that when Dr. Martin Luther King was speaking out against Vietnam, where was all those people? Where was this Bernie Sanders character? All right. Bernie Sanders is an old dude, rich old dude, that's for the establishment, that's for the government. All right? You better go back and read some of them lyrics, man, Public Enemy, uh, written by Chuck D. He claimed that he was the orchestrator, the creator, and all this other kind of stuff. So we'll go back and read the lyrics, and then check the move he's making with this Bernie Sanders character. I don't got time to dive into it too deep, but uh, uh, hold on, what this is he says, yeah, trying to wake up uh, to his victimhood mentality. He says, it's so easy to play it cool with everyone. What's hard to actually, uh, with actually doing the best thing uh, with the options at hand. Well, what options do you have at hand? I've always said you can hold the vote until you get educated about what the voting process is. So you mean to tell me you turn around and you associate public enemy's name with the Democratic Party? You, 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 you associate public enemy's name with Bernie Sanders? Come on, man. The vast majority of public enemy, we're not with that. That's a Chuck D thing and a public enemy radio thing. That has nothing to do with the rest of us. How has Trump attempted to systematically exterminate 6 million people? That's a question, Chuck. How has Donald Trump attempted to systematically exterminate 6 million people? Um, hold on. No matter who you vote for, Chuck, the government wins. No matter who you vote for, the government wins, man. All right? Hold on. Police kill more whites. Black people kill more black people in the South Chicago. Um no campaign gear um i think i got a hundred dollar bill in my pocket i'll pay you a hundred dollars i'll cash at you right now if you could prove that's true n-o-c-a-m-p-i-n-g-e-a-r no no camping gear if you can prove what you just said i'll pay you a hundred dollars right here on the spot he said people kill oh uh, come on come on come on i don't need that your attention, please. Airport security alert. Hold up, hold up. Please maintain control of he says people kill more, time. police kill more whites. Black Airport people kill more black please. people in South please. Chicago. TV won't tell you that. You got $100 if you can prove this stuff, man. So when we really get down to the brass knuckles where the rubber meets the road, we find out who's really doing the killing. All right? Okay. Hold on for a second. Trump is no Hitler. Might not like his mental perspective. Jesus is always in control through people de uh, denied that. That ain't true. <laughs> uh, hold on for a second. It says Hitler was a socialist just like Bernie. Bernie's supporters are low information. Okay. funny part is you thinking Chuck D is supporting Jewish Nazis. This is time will tell. Bernie's not going to win anyway. Dream on. Wow. Funny part. You fall, hold on. Wow. Brother said you cannot scare me with Trump, man. Wow. 
And what, that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to scare enough people that people go and they vote Democratic for the Democratic uh, nominee and that uh, we end up losing any other way. Do we understand what socialism really is? All right. If Bernie Sanders is, is, is against black people via his position on reparations, then no, I'm not doing I'm not doing the Bernie Sanders thing. I wasn't doing the Bernie Sanders thing anyway. All right. No, none of these these, these candidates give a rat's ass about uh, black people. I mean, it's so much, man. What song was that? Can somebody tell me what song Chuck D mentioned? The fact that he wasn't with either party, the jackass or the elephant. Come on, what song was that? What song was that, man? You're right, Bernie Sanders never signed off on a black agenda. I want to know what song was that that Chuck D said that he wasn't for either party, the jackass or the elephant. What song was that? He says, he says, somebody says, I want to be Hitler. He says, what are you smoking? Yeah, so the concept is vote blue no matter who? That's, that's the blind leading the blind. So someone said, by the time I get to Arizona, give me the correct quote from Chuck D's song, a public enemy song, by the time I get to Arizona. Somebody put the quote up. Somebody said, damn straight, talk minus action equals zero. Well, who says we're not acting? So somebody came along and basically says that we're not doing anything. I I'm trying to understand that particular dynamic. This is only part one. I'm only doing this to let people know, to just put people on notice. Look, man, I am not, absolutely not, all right, for this nonsense, man, all right? But this Professor Griff, I got to get ready to get out of here and catch this flight. I'm going to do part two tonight, all right? I got to go. Got to catch this flight. I love you all to life, man. Look, stay away from that Bernie Sanders garbage, man, for real. I wouldn't suggest anybody go support that madness, all right? The Dem Democratic Party have been proven that they're willing to support uh, black people. So we're going to talk about that a little bit later on, man. I got to get ready to catch this flight. Peace.